recently. I believe it was KFC that came out with their vegan burger. Yeah. Right. And like, what is your opinion on that? On buying these vegan products from primarily non-vegan brands? So, like, is that I'm a good telling thing? you, it's amazing. When when KFC did that, that's you know how big that is. Do you know how hmm. big that is? Like back in the like so. When I, I went vegan in 2013, I, I got online in 2015. You told me that McDonald's and KFC and that would have a vegan burger back then. It was a dream. It was a dream. You know mm -hmm. why it's a dream? Because they have a, I mean, and obviously, do I support KFC's practices? Absolutely not. Like I'm mm -hmm. in factory farms all the time, witnessing right. what they do to animals. <clears throat> but, you know, I'm driving around, like last night I was out, actually, I was out at a farm, you know? Mm investigating okay. and then i was driving back and all i seen was big billboards mcdonald's mcplant mcdonald's mcplant mcplant is the vegan burger at mcdonald's in the uk right now veganuary and you go into the 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 petrol station and it's veganuary it's veganuary it's you go into kfc and there's the imposter burger it's just everywhere like they have okay. so much money for advertising they've got so much reach they can basically if i'm a if i'm a new vegan right doing veganuary and i'm like the, the one of the biggest problems is that it's not convenient for me to adhere to this moral principle. So I'm going to have to fall off the wagon and eat a bit of meat here. And then all of a sudden they throw the moral principle out the window because they just, at that crucial stage, they find it too hard or they, they're a bit, mm. they flip flop. And, you know, so I just think that these, the, the practicality of having these massive chains, um, mm. having vegan options, is huge. And uh, you can change these corporations from within like Burger King now in the UK, uh, they I think they're committed to a 50% plant-based menu by the end of wow. 2025. 50%? Okay. What the? Didn't Where'd that, that come from? That's huge. Yeah. Like, uh, like I'm pretty sure that's what I've seen. So they brought in their vegan nuggets and then they, they made this commitment and it was for, I think it was for the environment or climate or something like this. But that, imagine that's if I said, huge. yeah, boycott them, boycott them, boycott them, let's protest. Boycott Burger King. No way, man. No way. Like, so <clears throat> yeah, my opinion is that, and is it, is it unethical? No, it's not unethical. Like, like people who say this, I usually, it's usually a certain type of person who says, don't buy this vegan product from these corporate. I mean, I don't want to stereotype here, but it's usually like from a certain group of people that say this. And I've been criticized heavily. People call me a KFC, um, I don't know, like a, uh, they think I'm sponsored by them or something. I'm not sponsored by any food brand, not even VFC. I'm not sponsored by yeah. VFC. Like I do this, I, I deliberately don't do paid uh, promotions. I do promotions of things that I believe in. Um, but uh, it's usually certain type of people that say don't do not do it. But then they go like, so then I'll like start analyzing that person. I'm like, so where do you get your, where do you get your shopping from, man? Like, God, it must be mm. hard not support, only supporting vegan businesses. Yeah. So, so, and, and I've actually called people out, other vegan activists out, because I'm like, well, you ate Linda McCartney's, and Linda McCartney's is a vegetarian company. So you got their vegan mm. product, and that, you, so you're telling other people to do something that you don't even do, you, mm. you can't do, and you understand yeah. that it's impractical and almost impossible, you know? So, yeah, it's like, um, like where did you get your rice from? Because, like, like people buy their rice from shopping malls, I imagine, a lot of people. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, those shopping malls are certainly not vegan. Um, so I currently like uh, like I'm I'm seeing this rile up a lot. So I'm I'm currently forming my own opinion. So that that was really interesting. Thank you. Uh, I'm, I'll have to think about Let, this more. Let's let's do it. Let's do a little bit more because we can have another five minutes okay. on it. But like they know exactly like, what they sell. They know mm -hmm. exactly. There's granularity when they mm -hmm. do their their books. Oh, we sold we sold this many imposter burgers at KFC. We need to contact Quorn because Quorn is the company that make the patties and we need mm -hmm. to get more. You're supporting Quorn basically. And what else is it made out of? Bread? Lettuce? You're supporting mm -hmm. the bread and mm -hmm. lettuce. You, they're not slaughtering mm -hmm. animals to replace that stuff. And the same with uh, with the McDonald's. It's beyond meat. Do you mm -hmm. buy beyond meat at the shops? You're just buying it off this other seller. And the argument is some of that money goes to help generate funds to slaughter yeah. more like you can't make that claim like what it does is it incentivizes them to keep the product on and they replace more of that product from the wherever they source that from and then people will mm -hmm. go and buy an uber and then in that that uber 
that that person in the Uber will take the money and Uber takes the money. This isn't a vegan company. They all go out and buy meat mm-hmm. with that money. It's just like mm-hmm. there's so many levels to that um, trying mm-hmm. to like – they just think of food. But if you look mm-hmm. at all the other utilities they they participate in, they're not vegan mm-hmm. and the people that run these places aren't vegan. And um, I just don't think there's any ethical issue and I don't think it works out um, – on the financial end either because like they know exactly what they're selling and what they should keep on. So I just think it's positive right. all round and it found, it feels counterintuitive, but uh, I mean, yeah, I've been pretty outspoken about it myself. I just think it's stupid mm-hmm. and it's counterproductive to, if you don't want to go into McDonald's, I don't force any vegan to go into McDonald's, right? You should do what you want, but don't tell mm-hmm. other people that it's bad for some reason. You know what I mean? Right. So that's, that's my position. So yeah. Okay. That's interesting.